One evening, Loki spied Freya's marvelous necklace, Brisingamen, a golden symbol of the fruitfulness of the earth which she wore about her neck at all times. The trickster god desired this necklace, and he found he could not sleep until he had it in his possession. So, he crept one night into her chamber to steal it. The goddess's position in sleep made it impossible for Loki to reach the necklace so he turned himself into a small flea, and bit her under the bedclothes so that she turned in her sleep. Then Loki returned to his shape, and removed the Brisingamen from Freya's neck without waking her up. Will Loki be able to keep the Brisingamen? We will find out soon, but before we move on, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more mythology videos. Not far from Freya's palace, Heimdall had heard the sound of Loki becoming a flea, a sound so slight that only the great watchman of the gods could have heard it, and he traveled immediately to the palace to investigate. He saw Loki leaving with the necklace, and drew his sword in order to remove the thief's head. Loki immediately changed himself into a thin blue flame, but quick as a flash, Heimdall became a cloud and sent down a sheath of rain in order to douse the flame. Loki quickly became a polar bear and opened his jaws to swallow the water, whereupon Heimdall turned himself into bear and attacked the hapless trickster. In haste, Loki became a seal, and then, once again, Heimdall transformed himself in the same form as Loki and the two fought for many hours before Heimdall showed his worth and won the necklace from Loki and returned it to Freya.